that coffee is not quenching my thirst. It's cold and filled with creamer. Too much creamer, actually, so I can't even taste my coffee. It's like a sweet medley of sweetness and syrup and sugar and stuff. Oh my goodness. Whoa! What's going on here? Hello everyone, my name is Howl, and welcome back to another part of Let's Play Twilight Princess. In the last part, we fought the Dark Nut, got the Dominion Rod, and worked our way back through the Temple of Time with our smashing friend. Smashing! Yep. And in this part, um, I went back up to this room where those two rocks were. The rock blue gem statue things. And look what's here! Little buggies everywhere! Spiders! Why are there so many spiders in this temple? Like I said in the last part, I hope you're not a rack- or last two parts ago, I don't remember when I said it. But I hope none of you are arachnophobes, because there's spiders everywhere. Everywhere. They're multiplying like crazy. Hey! Swish. Alright, so, what we can do now is toss this over here. And without our dominion rod. Ooh, that was a good throw. I didn't even do anything. Anything with that. Okay. Ha ha ha. Awesome. Deposit that on there. That on there. Same with this one. My little tubby statue friend. Push him over here. Oh. What am I doing that for? There's totally one over there. Whatever. I guess all's well anyway. Why is there one over there but not the other one? And do I just like forget that and like have that be derped out from my memory or what? Whatever. Push on on this one. Because we're gonna get another treasure chest! Yay! That's exciting. What could be inside? Hmm? Question mark? It's a piece of heart! So now we got both pieces of heart for this temple. Just like that. So yeah, just be sure to visit this room on your way out. You have to get the, um, whatever was in here earlier. Was it a key? Yeah, you have to get the key from here first, and then... Oh my god, you guys are back! Oh my goodness. But you have to get the key from here first, and then... Oh my gosh, you guys are back. Okay, whatever. I'm just gonna... All those guys are back too! What the hey? Awesome, whatever. Let's go through this door. Just get on. Get on. You just have to go to that room after you get your statue, friend. And life will be fine. Look, there he is! Huzzah! Huzzah. Oh, there's a the thing. Bats. And once again, that bat just blew up like nobody's business. Like nobody's business. I wonder why the lizard people don't respawn. You would think they would. Ha ha. Crush! Come on, friend. Let's go. We're gonna go through here. Oh, you're, I'm really far ahead of you. You'll never catch up. Never ever. So let's go down here. We're pretty close to that first room again. Boss battle time soon. Oh gosh. Try not to get crushed by him. I don't know if this will... Yeah, yeah. I'm actually super duper surprised I have not been crushed yet by these things. Oh, that was actually close to me getting crushed as well. No, I will not show you guys me being crushed because that's not important. Unless I accidentally get crushed. But honestly, I think this is the main room right here, so... Ha! I successfully made it through this temple without crushing myself with the giant statue. That has never happened before, ever! And you guys got to see it first-handedly. Feel proud. Yeah. So these steps are really tiny and weak, so you can totally just bring him on up the stairs. Yeah. Alright, so there you go. He moves around by himself in a very creepy fashion. And the door lights up! And opens. Yay. That's exciting. Oh my goodness, I'm going to sneeze. I don't want to. Center. Center. Don't sneeze. No. I think I'm safe. Okay. Ugh. I have allergies-ish. 
but they're not like really making themselves prominent this year. They're just kind of like this really low, obnoxious thing just in the background of like my entire life all the time, and they just like act really annoying. Oh my gosh, stuff is happening. Wait, did I just see a thing over there? Really? Hold on, I need to kill this thing. Both of them, actually. Oh my god. <laughs> no, I wanted to crash you. Okay, whatever. But I just saw something. Yeah. Is there a thing right here? Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, there's that thing too. But this is here. How have I never seen this one before? It's, it's so easy. Oh my gosh, no. No. Okay, so apparently that one's there. And I've never noticed it ever. I usually just get one of those and jump across like a crazy person. But alright. You learn something new every day. Like, how to not be stupid. Actually, that's a trait. No, people will never learn. But anyway, different time. Yeah. And also, uh, along with my allergies, I work in a hardware store. Like, it's pretty dusty all the time. So it's like, now I have permadust stuck up in my nose. Which sounds funny. Oh, I guess we had one anyway. And now I just feel nasally all the time. But damn my gosh, look at oh, gotta look at the door architecture. Done it for every other one. But, oh, pretty. The keyhole looks like it's upside down. What's up with that? Huh? All right. Well, that door is not as cool. The lock is nice because I like the colors, but the door meh, doesn't do a whole lot for me. <laughs> I wonder if anyone else has ever studied the door architecture. Oh, look, it's a giant thing. It has a fist. Oh, it's broken. It's, is it broken? Oh, the light went out. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, it's a giant spider. Oh my god. Not really. Armagoma. It's like Goma's ancestor. She wants to kill us! Well, ancestor. Um, not really ancestor, but like... It's Goma's later... Relative. Goma was her ancestor. Oh my god. Shoot him down! And come over here, and do the dominion rod, and crush that bitch! Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Big spider. You can only do it once, unfortunately. Look at that spider goo. Too much for her. It's too much. Yeah. Come on, baby. I just need to crush you. You can. You can. Ha ha ha. No. No. She's pooping babies. I wonder if she's been following us around this temple this whole time. That would be disgusting if she was. Yeah, we crush everything. Crush them all. And then we have to be careful. Oh, look. They drop little baby things. Oh my gosh, where are you? No! Stop it! Uh -huh. Haha. <laughs> so yeah, she also shoots fire from her eyeball, so that's fun. Fire! Ew, it's so gross if you look at her and you crush her, like, oh, that's a butt right there. That's a butt right there. But when you crush her, or, like, it's red between, like, her butt and her, that middle part right there, that middle part. No! Stop it! Stop it! No! Whatever. At least we're right here. We can deal with them. Myself before they hatch. And they did have little arrows for you. Which is nice, I think. Except you don't need them. Goma. Don't shoot me. Ah. I shot you first. Yay! Crush! At least it's oh, just like, it's like further apart. Ugh. So gross. But oh well. She's broken! Haha! -ha. Not a big deal. The gasp? It's the eyeball. Which turns into a little spider! Spider! Okay, so just shoot the big one a couple times. What? What? Yeah, all you have to do oh, and suddenly we're right here. All you have to do is kill the big spider and all the baby spiders die. But you know what? Maybe that's how Goma survived. Unless, wait, did the... Did her eyeball fall in front of you and become a heart container? It might have. Okay, so my my thought process is now moot. But whatever. We have a new 
Mirror of Twilight Shard! Three of the mirror shards are ours. Just one left. Link? That almost sounded like she said Link that time. You saw how nasty that monster was, right? The evil within the shards is more powerful than you can imagine. You know, we could be assembling something truly terrible here. It could be something that we'll ultimately have to destroy. Sound a little bit of foreshadowing, I sense. We have to hurry. Let's find the last shard, Link. We have to reach the sky. That's where the last shard is supposed to be. Oh my goodness! Alright, so don't forget your heart container. Wherever it is. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Right there. Ran all around it. You got the heart container! So yeah, we're getting pretty close to getting all of them. Okay, not really. Actually, there's quite a few that I still need to get. Now I think about it. Because we have two heart containers left. But then... After that... Yes, I'd like to save, please. Save. Oh, 1933. So, apparently, my time's not so bad compared to what it usually is. Okay, it'll, it'll be like a couple hours off, but it's not like as terrible as I thought it was going to be. Like, I thought it was going to be like 30 hours, maybe. Well, it's probably still going to be closer to 30. Why is it going to be like... 35 hours of gameplay, because I'm always like, herp the derp, let's look at everything! But yeah, come over here, and open up this one! And what's back here? What's back here? It's a piece of heart! Yay, so, I mean, you can't really count this open area as part of the temple, technically, but I mean, it's safe to say that there are three heart pieces and three posoles in this temple area. Because this is like, I guess you could count this part as like the sacred grove right now. I don't really know why, but it seems like this is the sacred grove because it's like the fancy part of the temple. So, but yeah, there we go. That's done. But, what? Here it is in all its glory and splendor. I wonder if they made this because like, um, because like, oh, Link was from the forest of days gone by, and blah blah blah, and that's not what I wanted to do. Bugs. Look at that, we have all the bugs. We're gonna go have to visit Agatha. Agatha, and go see what she wants to give us. And back into the real world. But yeah, I was wondering, maybe they built this temple here because Link was from the forest when he was, or grew up in the forest, and they just wanted to make a nice little temple for him here. Well done, adventurer. We'll go see what she was looking for. Goodness, yes, it's the dominion rod you found in the temple. But that thing has been around for quite some time. I can see from here that its magic has been exhausted. Oh, what am I to do? I thought at last I could return to the sky. And I have completely forgotten this spell that would once again be stowed with magic. It can't be helped. I suppose I'll just have to look for the statues that respond to the rod. That's... It's decided. That's what we'll do. That's what we'll do indeed. Oh, Aku Uku's on her way again. See you again. <laughs> hey, wait. What did you do to the Dominion Rod? She's gone. I suppose that useless rod is just more baggage, but what are you going to do? Hmm, did she just say something about returning to the sky? The last piece of the mirror is also said to be in the heavens. If we can restore magic to the Dominion Rod, maybe it'll come in handy. So yeah, our Dominion Rod now has like nothing. And it's red. It's red. Unfortunate. But yeah, I want to drop down here. Drop down here. Hello, snail. I don't actually need you anymore. Well, we're gonna go right over here real quick. Because there's a Pole so pole the pole there's a pole so that I can get over here and I'm just gonna break down my rock <laughs> this hee hee so he's here during like you can get this one whenever you don't have to wait for nighttime specifically for this one so just kill him just like that do, 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 do. we got the pole so so now we have like 46 ish. 47 postals, and we only need 60. So we're making pretty good time. Oh, 
infinite orange Deku Babas? Oh no no. I hate these ones, they're so annoying. So annoying. They just latch on to you like nobody's business. Oh my goodness. I just don't want to be a dog for this anymore. Cat, 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 cat. Why am I wasting my time? Oh no! No! No, leave me alone! I don't really know why I'm wasting my time in here, because I'm pretty sure it's going to be 100 rupees that come out from this. And it's going to be like, oh hey, you can't carry anymore, you stupid, stupid Hylian. Like, what are you doing that for? No. What? Aha, look at your tongue sticking out. Just come here so I can cut you. Cut you. Here. Oh, yep, there we go. And it's probably just going to be like, Herp the derp, you got a hundred coins, but you know what? You can't carry it all, so you don't get them anyway. Herp the derp, that what's going to say. Oh, it's a piece of heart. So maybe it is a good time. I think I wasted my time down here. Well, it wasn't a waste of time. I had totally forgotten that this is where you get one of the pieces of hearts. Well, that's awesome. Oh, and speaking of, there is something that I would like to show off. But I think... We might do it in the next part. In the next part... Yeah, because this would be a good spot to quit. Because I know if I start doing anything else, it'll just be like, Oh no, look at all this stuff that I have to do that we could run around and do. And honestly, 16-17 minutes is a pretty good time, I think, for a video. So, in the next part, we're going to do a little side questing and running around Hyrule, trying to figure out how we can restore magic to the Dominion Rod. So, I bid you all... Goodbye. Thank you for watching. Ta-ta. Bye-bye.